Welcome back everybody here to a new episode of Survive the Craft and to start off this episode I'm actually going to explore the mineshaft that's here you know uh, hopefully it's a big one I wanted to try and get some resources hopefully it goes down like to redstone level because I need a lot of redstone and I decided that this was a good way to start the episode because I will need to eventually do this and I'm gonna to see how long it takes me for me to clear the entirety of the of the mine shaft and maybe see if I can get any good things you know from the chests and if they have found anything funny down there maybe some like skeleton spawners or something I'll show you so let's see what I can find and one thing that I'm going to be doing is try and pick up as much of these rails as I possibly can and these chests uh, because it's less chests that I need to do and more rails for me huh this can be a little bit problematic if i want to do a mob farm just take a look at this uh a completely underwater cave system um i don't know if this is good or bad uh because drown probably can spawn in spawn in here so if I want to do a mob farm anywhere near, and I don't quite remember where. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna die. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna die because I can always dig. Does this go to the outside? It maybe does. Let me just get some hair real quick look like a checkpoint so I can breed let's continue I mean I'm seeing I'm not seeing any drown so I'm not I don't know if they spawn in here I mean it's a body of water so they should I think uh, but still this is this is most likely going to be a problem in the future. So I think it's like somewhere over this way. Not over here, but I'm gonna go here just... Wait, isn't this... Yeah, I came from... Oh god, I'm lost. Oof, found my way. And only now I'm hearing it drowns. Oh, it actually... Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, it goes all the way out. So that's why there's a crave. Ooh, I need these guys. Now, this is a sad thing to see. Uh, no spawner and no chests. Hmm, well, I guess I have some mossy cobblestone. So it took me right about like, what, 30 minutes? And this is the only spawner available. But, I mean, it's not even that great because the only thing that it could give me would be spider eyes because I already have a have string and I've been putting here all the stuff like all this junk that just that it just dropped uh, so yeah I have some nice things like this thing I'm gonna take right now this I'm gonna take right now the chests the redstone the name tags and the golden apples and these I think I can save here when I need them. I am not gonna. I'm coming. I'm coming back for these. I know that I have pretty much all the types of rails. So I'm only missing an activator rail. So yeah. Uh, now let's get back on track. So right now I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the building part. You know, I want to make this portal look good. And for that I'm gonna be using the blocks on the right. Forget these ones. This ones is just here for stuff. Uh, I'm gonna use these blocks. Uh, I probably need a lot more of blackstone. Uh, maybe obsidian, I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't think I need more crying obsidian. I need more regular obsidian though. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try and make this thing look good. Like a rift opened here. So it doesn't look squared, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna try and maybe look like it's a, a ramp here over this way and then make it like 
curves like here with some more added details and maybe add something on the top. Uh, I'm gonna try and work it out and see what, work, what works best. I mean, you can probably have a, a look right now to what I'm doing and it kind of looks like it's dripping the particles down and I really love it, you know. Uh, still needs a lot more blackstone, I think, on this side and obsidian to make it look even better. And then I'm gonna do the same on that other side and then do something action also at the top. Mm, nah, I think it's better just to go there. Yeah, I think this is a little bit too much. Okay, now I think it looks a little bit better. Now I need to do the same on the other side, but I'm out of blackstone, so I need to go and get more blackstone. Yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely needs lanterns, <laughs> just so mobs can spawn. Yeah, this thing with the portal has to change. Uh, remember those eggs that I had? I think I'm gonna have to put them back on here. Yeah. These guys are already. These guys. I opened this hole. This hole, and they all. They just jumped. I mean, I don't know why, but they just did. Uh, so I need to find the eggs. I think I still have one over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave this open. Don't I have one over here? No, oh, it's over there. Hmm, I'm gonna try and get that one and set it up closer to here. Okay, so now both sides are done, so that leaves me with the top. And I'm still thinking of how exactly I want to do this. I have a couple things in mind, like an overgrown crystal, like have these things, you know, the obsidian, the blackstone and the crying obsidian, like making like a cap on the top part. And let me just fly a little bit and show you how this thing looks from afar just go over here and yeah I really really love the, the the design that I'm going for and I think it's it suits this pretty well uh, and I can still use the lever here which is the good part you know I pretty much just built this part around the system that I that I have to dispense the water right there so yeah and there's literally no efficiency lost uh, because they just spawn there. They do not get influenced by any of the things that I'm building. And now on to the top part. And boom. Yeah. So this is how I think it's going to stay, you know. Um, the top part doesn't quite fit in as nicely as I would like to, but I still like it, you know. And the... Uh, the dripping down parts of the crying obsidian really makes it stand out a little bit better. Uh, and let me just do a fly around. I haven't I haven't done this yet, so it may look pretty cool or not. Let me see. Ooh. Oh no, yeah, I like it. Oh yes, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, there's still like probably a f some fixes here that I could do. But, for what I can see, yeah, I like this, yeah, I like this, yeah. I still probably need to hide some lights here though, yeah, like literally hide some lights around here. Oh, there's a stone, uh, like here. Uh, where else can I hide a light? Because I don't want the lamps to be seen from up here. I mean, there's not. Okay, I guess I guess I cannot. Uh, no, never mind. I'll leave it like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to leave it like this. Let me just see, like from like from the ground. Yeah, yeah. I like this. It looks pretty cool. You know when the when the portal is lighted is lighted up it, it looks amazing you know seeing the difference between the part that's on this side to, the, to over that side and I honestly think that it looks better from the back side I mean this side look at this yeah I honestly think it looks better from this side you know what you guys can tell me down in the comments if there's something that you guys would change you know when I 
but I think it's pretty much like this, you know, if I feel like I need to change something, I will. Maybe I can try and fix that corner a little bit, I don't know, uh, but let's see. So, what's next? What's next is the idea I had for this empty, huge wall, like this one. I still don't know what I'm gonna put there or there, but I know what I can put here. And I need to gather some stuff first. So this is what I want to be doing with this wall. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a giant map. Let me just come down here. And I want to try and fill the entirety of this thing. Even though this thing is pretty big. Uh, it's a 7x7. Seven seven. No, 9x9. Nine nine. Yeah, it's a 9x9. Nine nine. And I'm pretty much just there. I only have like the iron farm, the gold farm, and the lab. Uh, I, I will be expanding to this ravine, to this ravine, to this ravine, to another one that's underwatered here. So I'm pretty much going to do like this shape of lab. And there, there's a lot more stuff going on, you know, actually. Uh, like I'm there, I don't know if you can see. That green dot on top of the lab, I'm right there. This is where this map is, so it's pretty far up, actually. Uh, this doesn't reach. Probably won't reach. Yeah, it's it would, it would need to be like here to reach the village. Like something around this place. Um, but I intend to have a giant map here on this area to just get a feel for everything that's around and for any projects I can actually do. Then... I'm not sure about these walls, but this this map can probably migrate to any other room I want to make uh, because I want to have detailed areas, you know. I want to have like a map for this zone, a map for the village, a map for a mesa biome that I may or not do something with, to a guardian farm, and all the stuff like that, you know. I want to try and connect everything with with its own map. And now this brings me to the last part of the episode. So what am I going to do to end up this episode? I'm going to redo the, the iron farm collection system. And I think I'm going to probably make a room like maybe around there. And reroute the iron stuff all to that. And then have the poppies turn into... I mean, some of the poppies, I'm probably going to save some. I could just like one chest for poppies. Uh, so I can actually breathe bees whenever I need to uh, and have red dye always available uh, but most of the puppies will be turning into bone meal and the string will be sorted and then destroyed if I don't need any more and then actually have a better storage for the iron in its own room you know here in the lab so for that I need to dig all the way there Okay guys, so this is almost finished, you know, I'm just, I just made a corridor over here, then I turned, then I dug all this hole, and the redstone is pretty much all done. There's only a few things that I still need to do, like put a water elevator here, because I have like these two tri triple chests, yeah, these tri three chests uh, are all going to have poppies. And when this thing is full, uh, it will start decomposing more poppies uh, into bone meal. And then I want to send it all back up into the system. And over here, I'm going to have the string. And then over here, it's not this junk. Uh, it's actually going to be bone meal. And these one, two, three, and four, all these 12 chests will be for iron. And as you can see, I already made the water. And I just realized something. It's not going to work like this. I need to curve the water here. Like this. Yeah, okay. This, this will not work. Uh, it will take a while, so... Do I have ice? I probably have some ice around here. No? No more ice? Where did I put my ice? Oh, let me find my ice real quick. Okay, got my ice. Gonna put it there so uh, the items just go a little bit, a little bit faster, you know. 
Let's go here. Take this out. This out. Oh, too much. And boom. Okay, now the items, they come all the way from down there. They come here, they turn, they go into there, the ice slides in, there's a water elevated here, pumps the items up, then they get sorted. If they're iron, they come in here, if they're poppies, they come in here, the extra poppies go in there, strain comes here, bone meal will come in here, and then I'll have, I need to have a, a lava dispenser, you know, just so I can get rid of the, the excess of items. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much done. Uh, there's not much that I can do than just start pumping things in. Because I have the string, I have the poppies, and I have the, the iron. So the only remaining thing to do is go up there. No, it doesn't work on those hands. Okay, go here. And then start pumping the items out of this dispenser. I already put it here. So now... There's a couple of ways I need to, I could do this, but I'm going to use a, a comparator. So let me see. I kind of want to do it the way I did the one right there at the bottom. So if I do this, yeah, okay. What I need to do is I have a temporary block here. Oh, come on. Yeah, here we go. Temporary block. Dig down. Put this thing here, up, break this thing, and then I, oh, I jump and put it, and, okay, I just wanted to see if the items don't get thrown, oh, they do, okay, so, if I put a block there, and a block here, then, and most likely, oh, wait a second. They're getting caught. Some of them are getting caught there. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, that's, that's a real bad. Um, I have a solution. Yeah, I have a solution. Just reroute. Just pick, break this hopper. Did, did this just get faster? God, uh, put this thing here, then come around here and put it there. Okay, then I come here and I put a block here and a block here. Yep, okay, now it's all good, it's not gonna go anywhere, but now I actually need to put a wave for this thing to shut itself down while there's no items in there. The way I'm gonna do this is using a sticky piston, pointing at this thing. Then all I need to do is put a block here. Yep, and then dig this thing out. Yeah, like so, put another block here. Redstone, redstone. And comparator, I have it with me. And comparator. Okay, right now everything is in place. There's items in the dispenser. This thing is triggered, so the piston remains, uh, lets the the repeater stay there and keep powering this thing up. Uh, it got slower now for some reason. Um, then I'll I'll have to come later and get rid of these chests. Uh, now that I'm actually here, I can break this thing and this thing and put it like this. Yeah, so it doesn't go into these chests. These chests will remain here for a while. Uh, yeah, now I got a lot of junk. I need to sort everything out. And I guess I'll show you real quick. The portal looks really cool at night, by the way. Let me just fly around real quick. Yeah, the portal looks amazing at night. Okay, and as you can see, everything is coming into here. And I'm just gonna put, there's some iron here as well already, because it's skipped. It's probably because there's a lot of items coming in. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of items coming in. 
Uh, and I'm actually going to... Okay, why is there a stone here? There shouldn't be a stone there. Okay, you're... Nice, you're empty. Uh, strings coming in also. Nothing on this one. Nothing, nothing. Some iron, which I'm gonna take and put here. And some poppies. And you know what? I'm just going to test this thing out. Let me put like some poppies coming in here. Oh yeah, it needs to fill this thing to till it's 30, 42? Yeah, oh god, okay. This is why I don't like you. Die. Okay, but as you can see, it's, it's, pro it's processing this. Okay, why? Oh, it needs to be a dropper. Oh. See, this this is why you test things. This is why you test things. So this thing needs to be uh, a dropper. Not the, yeah. Okay, a dropper does exactly what I need. So if you're going to toss bone meal, don't use a dispenser, use a dropper. And now I need to eat. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it. This thing, this thing is working like a charm. For some reason, it stopped. Yeah, you can see the items coming in. Uh, I don't think that they get stuck anywhere, even though they try to float a little bit. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Oh. Oh. No. I don't want it. No. No. Oh, God. Just keeps coming. Okay, let me just yeah do this and do this and go up one. Yeah, perfect. You see the items come in in the corner. They do a little turn around there. The ice helps uh, helps them move faster. They come under there. They go up. They go into the system. And how is the system handling this? It seems pretty pretty okay. Some actually escape to here, uh, probably because of the amount of the items that, that's coming in. Uh, but this will eventually not be a problem. So poppies here, that I, have, I have like a ton of poppies. Uh, demonstration number two, I guess, just so I can get some things to put here. And the, the item sorters is the same thing that I did with the with the gold farm, you put the item that you want to sort here, and then you have a filler block. In this case, I have the like, uh, the like block. And if you don't know, you can use the like button in the description. You know, you can always hit the like button, comment down below, because it helps the channel to grow. And I rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is going to be it, guys. And yeah, like, liking the videos and commenting the videos really, help, really helps the channel, so the channel gets all over the youtube of, the, of other people not just yours so yeah be sure to smash the like button comment down below what you think and give me any any ideas that you may have and yeah see you in the next one goodbye